Sonic the Hedgehog says that we've got to go fast. So let's get in to the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today it's another random pickups video. Ton of stuff here to show that I just want to talk about. Just get my thoughts out on some of these weird things I picked up in charity shops that I really, really kind of like. So let's get into the video. Over Christmas I watched um, Black Christmas, the original 1974 version. Uh, really like this movie. I think it's really good. Uh, very, very much like a classic proto slasher or one of the first slashes people argue is one of the first slashes ever made very very well made very slow burn very cool i went out and i picked up the 2006 remake of black christmas because i've heard very mixed mixed uh, opinions on this people love it people hate it uh etc etc i thought this was a very very cool remake uh, that took elements from the original and took it took it down its own path. When I say it goes in its own direction, it really, really does. But it's really, really fun. I thought I had a really good time this movie. It's fucking savage. Like, it's gross and gory and violent. And if you don't like classic eye violence, I don't think you'll enjoy this film because it has pretty much everything is eye violent. But I had a good time with this. I thought it was fun. Very, very, very typical early 2000s slasher movie. I think it really works as a really cool companion to the original. Um, I don't think it's as good in terms of its pacing and plot than the original. It does take a lot of like leaps and bounds, you know, when it concerns the story in the, in the remake. But I feel like as a companion to the original, I think these are great. And I will watch both of these at Halloween time and at Christmas time. So, so that is Black Christmas 2006, the remake. I've been in a bit of a Transformers kick lately. So I thought I'd go out and pick up the Blu-ray of the Transformers movie from 1986. I don't remember seeing this film during the Transformers hype that I had as a kid. Um, I was born in 1986 when this film came out, so I don't think I really got into Transformers until maybe the 90s, the early 90s, and I think season three was was already like out at the time. The actual Transformers song, performed by Lion, is one of my favorite 80s songs ever. So I'm looking forward to checking this out again as an adult and really delving into the Transformers world. Really got a nostalgia kick at the moment for Transformers. So I had to go and pick this up. I was thinking about getting the 4K, but I thought the Blu-ray would do me just fine for, for an animated feature like this. But yeah, that's Transformers the movie from 1986. Next up is a film that I, I was just, just bite, biting at the bit. Some would say I was snapping, snapping at getting this on 4K. Me and Soph, we ordered the Paranormal Activity box set. They sent us two copies of it and we sold one and that made that allowed me to get alligator on 4k from shout factory uh i love this movie um this is one of the best creature feature animal attack films from the 80s it's up there with gremlins it's up there with like critters it's up there with uh, brain damage which i love as well and i think it's up there with like the classics like jaws it's, it's really really great I fucking love this movie. I think it's fantastic. I've not checked out his 4K yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I want to sit down and watch it with Soph because she hasn't seen it yet. I, I, I just adore it. So I want her to watch, to experience it as well. But yeah, I love that alternate artwork. I think it's fantastic. The actual new commissioned artwork on the slip is really nice as well. That's Alligator on 4K. Do yourself a favour, guys. If you're into your creature features, go and check out this movie. It's so much fun. I had a blast with it. Speaking about having a blast, the sequel's as good. Maybe not as good, actually, but it's it's pretty decent. Came out 10 years after. So, Alligator 1 came out in 1980. Alligator 2 came out in 1990. It's not really a sequel. You could kind of see this as more of a, a rehash of the first movie, more like a 90s remake, I suppose, of the first movie in some regard. It is very, very similar in plot, very, very similar in tone. And, yeah... um. I still had a good, fine, good time with it. Really fun. It's got D Wallace. That gets an automatic fucking 10 points in my in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, really, really fun. I really, really recommend both Alligator 1 and Alligator 2. Definitely don't, don't let these slip by, guys. Check these out. These are fantastic. You also can watch these on Shudder. 
So if you've got Shudder, these are on there. So go and check these movies out. Some of the best creature feature movies ever. That That's coming from the creature feature guy. Go and watch these. They're awesome. Speaking about creature features, um, I'm a massive Critters fan. As you know, guys, I love Critters. It's my, one of my favourite franchises ever. I kind of want to build a Critters collection. I've got quite a bit of Critters collection. Here. I've got like a couple of Crite puppets. I've got the, I've got the, uh, the, the films on Blu-ray. Um, I've got a couple of VHS tapes, um, but I wanted to get some interesting alternates from other parts of the world, alternate DVDs. So I found these from Australia. I think I paid about £30 for these four DVDs. These are the Australian releases, DVD releases of Critters 1 to 4. What what I love about these is some of the artwork is, is different. What I like about this artwork in particular, unfortunately we can't get rid of this, this is there. It ruins it in a way, I suppose. But you can see, like, they made it where the eyes the eyes will glow. And we don't get that in the UK artwork for the DVD. So I'm really actually happy about this artwork being a bit more kind of, kind of striking, a bit more cooler. Love that. Love the artwork on that. Um, I can't really speak about the transfers because I've not actually watched these yet. Because I've got the Blu-ray, so I didn't really plan to actually check these out. But I've really been a defender of DVD lately, the last couple of years. So maybe I should check these out and see if these are worth picking up for yourselves. You just want the DVDs of Critters. Critters 2, uh, I'm not too fussed on this artwork. I think it's a bit crap, to be honest. I would rather it be the... Uh, the more traditional artwork where is the crite holding the two but i digress it's critters two critters three is, is the artwork that made me want to get these because it harkens back to a 1990s movie that i love and a little bald headed twat from bournemouth loves as well mr jamie powell uh, he'll know exactly where this is uh, on you know this is kind of a reference to but critters three has this artwork and it is a just a, re a reference to one of the early uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie posters where you can see their faces coming, uh, looking through the uh, sewer grate there, um, the manhole cover. But yeah, uh, this cover made me get this job lot of the four. Love it. It's just so silly. Um, so silly. That's Critics 3 there. And Critics 4 is just a standard, uh, then just over like a moon. Um, but yeah, it's just classic, isn't it? Classic artwork. The, the four is a, in blood, of course. Um, another thing that makes this cool is that when you've got them all on the shelf lined up, all the spines match. So that's a nice little touch there as well. So that's the uh, Australian Critters DVDs uh, with awesome artwork. Uh, still, I still love the, uh, the artwork on that one. It's fucking cool. But yeah, that's that. Next, I'm going to show off some miscellaneous things. So I went into a, a local comic, a comic book shop near me um, and they had some of these new uh, Super 7 Godzilla figures in. So I had to get the G-Man the, the himself, uh, Godzilla, as a new figure. I will never be taking this off the card. I'm going to keep this on the card. Um, they do have a whole set of these. So you can get the 1954 Godzilla, the 1987 Godzilla, which is this version here. Then you've got uh, Mecha Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, and um, Jet Jaguar as well. Um, I couldn't read his name then. Fucking idiot. Yeah, uh, I had to pick this up. He just looks cool as hell, right? Fucking cool. So cool. I love Godzilla. You know me, guys. I love Godzilla. But yeah, I had to pick that little guy up. I was in a charity shop. Been wanting one of these plushies for ages. For ages. And they, they, they go for about 20 quid. In like places like Game and, and, uh, and Smiths and that. Um, this was a pound. <clears throat> in my local charity, so uh, I had to have a little Sonic Hedgehog plush. I'm a massive Sonic fan. People don't realize I'm a really big Sonic Hedgehog fan. Uh, one of the first video games I've ever played was Sonic Hedgehog on the Master System. I'm that old, guys. If you know what the Master System is, you get 10 points. But yeah, right. I'm a big Sonic fan. I like most of the games that people don't like. I like all the classics, you know, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. I love the Sonic Adventure games, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2. I really like Sonic Unleashed. People don't like that game. becomes like a werehog, but I love it. It's so much fun. And, uh, yeah, um, I just think Sonic... I just, I just, I've just got a childhood nostalgia for Sonic the Hedgehog. Looking forward to checking out the new game, which I haven't actually bought yet. But I've always wanted a little classic Sonic the Hedgehog plush for a pound. I wasn't going to leave it there. It just was staring at me. I was like, buy me now, man. So, yeah, I had to be fast and buy the Sonic the Hedgehog while it lasts. Yes, that's the Tony Hedgehog blush. Now we're going to get into like this mid-piece of the video uh, where the thumbnail comes from, sort of. I went into my 
local charity and found some things very, very interesting that you don't see very often, or well, I don't see anymore. A very, uh, as far as I'm aware, a very obsolete piece of media. And that media is video CDs. Now, you're thinking to yourself, Jason, do you mean DVDs? No, I don't mean, I mean video CDs. Movies that are held on compact discs. This is a, a goes across two discs, so you will have to swap the discs out. Now, in my research of these, I, I didn't really know much about these myself. Uh, I just found them for really like 50p each. So I thought I'd get them just to talk about it, maybe do a dedicated video on these soon. From my understanding, looking based, based on my research, basically, you know, is Wikipedia and nothing else, so take what I say with a pinch of salt, guys. This was a format that came out in 1993. It went up against VHS and Laserdisc as a cheaper alternative to those formats. Now, they pretty much went... It pretty much is no longer really a viable or a thing you see in the West now, but from my research, the video CD is still a viable video fo entertainment format in places like uh, South Africa and uh, parts of Asia and places like that because it is seen as an affordable uh, means to get um, video entertainment on disc and to get into people's homes. So, which I thought was cool. Uh, it's cool that it's stuff like this still exists and still is uh, being sold today. The cool thing about these, I haven't tried it myself because I don't have, a, I don't have an old enough DVD player for it to run, but there are a lot of DVD players that will play these. Because these are just compact discs. Uh, same with like PCs. If you've got a disc player in your PC, most likely we'll be able to play these. So I picked up Silence of the Lambs on video CD. Home Alone 2. Again, like a lot of these are a lot of these are split between two discs. Disney's Homeward Bound. As you can see, a lot of these are um, are from um eastern territory so like this one's from um i think china because it's in cantonese so hong this is a hong kong version again comes across two discs i've got homeward bound uh, two as well which is quite cool um to get both homeward bounds i used to love these films as a kid as well homeward bounds love love both of those movies and i have a film called the astronaut's wife with johnny depp Again, this one comes on two discs. I like where each disc is kind of like uh, is on the opposite of the other. Yeah, so I thought these were really interesting to pick up, and uh, I might do a um, a dedicated video on this. And I, they do have more in my local charity, so I might go and pick up some more um, for more of these to make some more of a collection, and maybe do a video on these. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a dedicated video on the video CD, because um, I think it's quite an interesting kind of dead format that. It's still going in certain parts of the world, but just not in the West, apparently. But yeah, um, I'm I'm really happy with these. I think they look cool. I like the kind of small packaging they're in. I think they just it's just it's not it's not quite a CD. The thing is, it is actually a CD, but their package is diff they're packaged different than a CD, which I actually appreciate. But yeah, those are those. So those are really that oddity, which is the video CD. Next up, um, one hundred and one films had a winter sale going on and i had to capitalize on that of course as you do not the biggest one on one films fan i do pick up i do like their black label releases they're really cool and when they put out their nice collector editions i do like getting those also i've got like the deadly night silent night box set that came out i've got the ghost watch box set that came out and i've got some of the black label titles as well but there were some titles that just kind of intrigued me that i want to pick up on the sale and a lot of these were heavily discounted so you're saving about eight quid on each so i picked up death sport the only reason that made me pick this up is this is meant to be a spiritual successor to death race 2000 if you've not seen death race 2000 it stars david carradine and an early role for sylvester stallone and it is the most campy piece of shit movie you can ever see but i kind of love it um so if this is anything like death race 2000 i think i might have one of those just times where a terrible movie is, is hilariously fun but yeah david carradine this was meant to be the sequel to death race 2000 but it, it kind of became its own thing and from what i've read that uh, david david carradine did not does not endorse this movie at all he, i think he says he is just terrible but um 
yeah, uh, I know Death Race 2000 is terrible, but I kind of love that movie for how bad it is, just how camp and just shitty it is. So this might be also some bit of fun down that line of entertainment. Next up, we have a double uh, feature, Deathstalker and Deathstalker 2. Um, I keep hearing about these movies as uh, as quite um, a decent kind of 80s kind of hack and slash kind of sword and sandals movies when when those movies when those kind of movies were really big and uh kind of like thriving you know you, you, this is the time period of like Conan the Barbarian Clash of the Titans that kind of stuff um so I'm looking forward to checking these out I know nothing about them but I always hear about these movies so these could be terrible they could be fun they could be terrible but fun who knows but that is Deathstalker Deathstalker 2 this next release from 101 films is the last one from the winter sale that I picked up Really, actually, looking forward to checking this out. It sounded awesome to me. It's called No Man of God. Uh, this film stars Elijah Wood and Luke Kirby. So I'm looking forward to uh, checking this out. It's meant to, like, uh, on the back it says, uh, No Man of God recounts the final years of Bundy's life as the FBI make one last attempt to, to secure the truth about his horrific crimes. So this is like a drama dramatization movie. From what I've from what I've heard, I, I did think it might have been a documentary, but it's not that. It's actually a um, an actual movie, you know, dramatization of it, which I'm all for. It sounds really cool. I just love the packaging as well. It's just really well packaged in the hard box. Next up, I picked up a copy of Nope on 4K. Um, the only reason I picked this up on 4K because I was going to start with the Blu-ray. This was only 11.99. On Blu-ray, on rare waves. I can't say that word. That's a fucking terrible name to fucking say. Rare wear waves. Rare waves. It's really difficult. That's a, that's a tongue. To, that's a fucking tongue twisty name. This was only eleven ninety nine on Rare Waves his website, so I grabbed it. Um, great price for this four K. Uh, it's still sealed. We've not actually got down to watching it on the actual transfer yet. But yeah, um, one of my favorite films of the year from twenty twenty two. Really thought it was just a really, really great engrossing mystery with a dashing of horror in there and a lot of just third act just amplified awesome. So yeah, uh, check out Nobody if you've not seen it. It's really, really good. Next up is Top Gun Maverick. Very late to this movie. I, I didn't get to see this in cinemas, but it is going to be coming back uh, in some select cinemas this year. So I'm going to go and definitely see it on the big screen when I can. Top Gun Maverick, one of the best films of last year for sure. Um... Looking forward to checking out his 4K because I've heard it's absolutely stunning in 4K. This is one of the best looking films of last year as well. So I'm looking forward to, you know, cranking up the volume and having it look awesome on my television. So yeah, I had to pick this up on 4K and yeah, glad to have it in the collection. Next up is a film I've not seen yet, but I couldn't find anything else in the 2 for 24 to go with the other title I picked up. But this title is called Flash Gore. Never seen this, but Sophie's adamant that I could have a really good time with it. Uh, like a you know it's like a uh, superhero space opera kind of thing and it just sounds really really fun uh, I've, I've i've heard the theme song of course uh, by uh, queen very famous uh, by queen but yeah um if it's anything by the artwork i'm sold if it's going to be a campy 80s silly kind of superhero space thing i'm all for it that's flash gordon and the other title uh, to go with flash gordon the two for 24 sale in hmv is of course the Batman. I was very, very, very late to the party getting this on physical because it's three hours long. It's one of the best films of last year, but it's three hours long. And I wasn't sure when I would have time to watch it. But then I thought to myself, two for 24 deal is pretty good. And uh, when I do have time to watch it, it's there to watch, isn't it? Um, that's the great thing about physical, guys. But yeah, um, I had to get this. Um, this film is everything that I wanted from a Batman movie. Uh, he's in every scene. The the uh, the atmosphere is bang on. You get the true detective side of Batman, which I've been wanting for fucking years. And this movie does not disappoint. It's like seven, but in the Batman universe, it's so good. That's the Batman. And that brings us to the last little thing I picked up in that comic book shop where I got the Godzilla figure. I found this comic book, Godzilla, Best of Godzilla. Um, I had to get this. Um, it was only like five quid. And uh, it's just the artwork is just remarkably cool. Like, you got a bloody like story, Godzilla in Hell. Who doesn't want to read that? But look at the artwork, guys. It's so good. The artwork is unbelievable. So I had to get this comic 
for you know, I think um, it says six ninety nine on, on the label, but the guy sold it to me for five pounds, which is really really nice of him. But yeah, I had to get that. That is the last pickup of this video. So yeah, let me know what you think of uh, the last this haul from the last few few weeks. Uh, just some killer stuff in this. You know, Alligator on four K is amazing. Um, the Batman is just one of the best films of the year. Top Gun Maverick is so good. And uh, really happy to get this little Sonic dude. Uh, really happy to get this. Yeah. And uh, I'm a G-Man. Yeah, really happy about those. So yeah, um, that is all this for this video. Random pickup video with Sonic. Yeah. Um, so, what's, what's that? Sonic says, um, we'll see you next time, we suppose. Bye. Bye.